Hello, dear Shaumra. I am FM. Good to be on Earth again. I never imagined in my last lifetime that I shall be channeled. I never imagined situations like this. To come back on Earth in order to set up a project, in order to address you. I miss you, all of you. I miss that uh, shout together, I miss that meetings together. Indeed, in my last lifetime I was not so a so good speaker, I was not a so good entertainer or a, a good at relationship ship in generally. But now now I'm I'm very glad to be again near to you. You are very uh, dearly to me. You are very, uh, very important to me. I uh, obtained my realization, my ascension, in the last few months of my life. Until then, I was still in my mind I was still wondering if or when the freedom will be a true, will become a life, will become really embodied. Now I am here. I speak through Christian, through dear Christian. Indeed, she, he didn't have a lot of channel, channeler experience in this lifetime. Me also, I was not so uh, near to be channeled. But I am very glad for this beginning. I am very glad. You, indeed, benching, your light started to be visible in all the reliefs, in all the dimensions. This means so much for the entire creation. Do you remember, before your birth, All of you, including myself, before my last time, my last lifetime, we look at the earth and what we see, a big folk, a grey folk. Then occurred our passion to come back on earth and to be the lighters the ones which are capable to share their divine light and to make light in this big folk. This was the origin of passion. Please, take a good deep breath and feel it again, like before you burst. Go back just for a few seconds in that moment before coming on earth and feel that passion. When you realized that the most important thing is not the philosophy, the information, but the light. The earth needs light. And look at you. You are the lights 
of the earth. You bring divine light, you bring consciousness on this wonderful, wonderful planet. I never was in this country, Romania, in my last lifetime. But one of my aspects was part of a mystery school here in Transylvania. So the energy is not so new for myself. Here in the Sibiu area there is also a crystal cave, one of the crystal caves of Earth. That was one of the reasons for which the mystery school in that time, 300 years ago, maybe more, was present here. That is one of the reasons for which I channeled from this area. The area of Transylvania was at the cross, at the middle of the cross, energetical cross of Gaia. And for us, from the other reliefs, from beyond the veil, it is also an advantage. In my project, which is not only mine, it is a project at which I cooperate with Crimson Council and also with hundreds of Shaumbra which are on my side. In this project, it is very important the zero point. We shall speak a little bit about the zero point. What we created here is a signal, is a emission radio station, which is a constant signal. In order to be able to receive this signal, you need to be present, to be hundred percent present, to be, to be fully present. This is the main thing. We started this uh, channel on 21 November at the zero point between two constellations Scorpio and Sagittarius. I intend to continue uh, channels like this and always it will be on the zero point between two constellations. The other zero point it is the energetical cross of the planet which is here in Transylvania. In the same time me like FM here, being channeled by Christian, I am free of my old personality of John Kodark. Indeed, I can say I am free. I am an ascended master and a sovereign being. And I come to you through this channel in this area as a sovereign being. For sure, from time to time, when I shall choose, I shall be channeled also by Jov. I am free. Jov is free. Christian is free. All of us, we are free. Indeed, the mind. The mind is the only thing, the only uh, brilliant thing 
at all so a little bit demonic thing which uh, is the border between us and our freedom freedom is a natural state of being and at the beginnings, in the time of Tien, in the time of Atlantis, the mind served us. The mind had also the connection with the soul, free connection, no problem. In that times, indeed, our presence in physical forms on earth came with a feeling of somehow being lost somehow being lost but uh, we felt also the song of our souls we felt that we are ourself What happened? What happened when uh, occurred the headband? And I was one which uh, I worked at the implementation of the headband. Christian also knows a lot about that stuff. The headband came with I shall start with a positive thing. We believe that was positive in that time. Before the headband, there was not a very clear human persona, a very clear human personality. Like you know yourself as uh, today, you are uh, humanness. Indeed, there was an awareness about the physical body, there was an awareness about the physical life, but not so very clear structured. For this reason, in Atlantean's time, we lived in groups. You already know this. When the headband was uh, implemented, started, just started, the mind started to create a human personality, exactly how you know today. What was happened? Before the headband, your energy, your soul energy was free, really free to expand how much in the universe, infinity. When the headband was created, the soul energy uh, was restricted in the area of the headband. A cure, a sound, bang, bang, bang when your energy hit the headband <clears throat> then your energy created walls infinite walls which started to surround you on all sides and then above below everywhere were walls walls created from your energy which now was limited by the headband it was the first time <clears throat> when occur what we can call now pain signals indeed before there were pain signals from the body when you hurt yourself, when you broken something, but with the headband occurred pain signals, false 
pain signals from the mind. At the beginning, these pain signals was very uh, difficult to support them, very difficult. And then, <clears throat> using crystals, we created false pleasure centers. There were two. One at the belly, in the belly area, and the other in the brain area. We created these two false pleasure centers in order to make one to forget about the pain signals. It worked somehow. These pain signals started to be uh, embodied they go to every organ, they go to every cell, and after a while they become chronicles. The body don't uh, feel these signals anymore, but this energy was there, was there and work, was the first period when the human started to experience illness from different causes at that moment there was not uh, a medicine like today but there was these pains using the false pleasure centers these pains, how I said, became chronical. What means chronic? They are there, but the body don't feel them. After a while, appear like a magnetic circuits between the false pleasure centers and the pain signals from the mind. the human started to forget about the old way of the energy going outside in unlimited ways started to grow up to birth this human personality which is based on reflections of the energy as your eyes see the reflections of light as your ears heard the reflection of sounds your human personality of today is a reflection personality it is birth from the reflection of the energy in the contact with the headband this personality started to be uh, very deep uh, embodied become became a belief system the human started to say this is me this is me this uh, personality started to be reported to a date of birth to a, to parents to the outside world and the mind have a big role in this development of a human personality we considered in that time this maybe was a good step because from the group consciousness the individual started to have his own consciousness but it was from a false personality we hope we hope that after this phase of development a uh, false personality finally uh, soul being will be able to 
be in contact with his own soul, but with a whole new awareness, with a whole new consciousness. In a way, this uh, this thing was a part of our Atlantean dream. In that time, the Atlantean dream supposed that one day the human and the divine will walk together on earth in a fully awareness, in a full consciousness, like sovereign and wise divine beings. And this dream, it is at the beginning to be fulfilled here now in this era of ours. I shall continue with the history of headband, maybe with other occasion. Now we I just opened the subject. Just two sentences. With the headband was created a close loop of the divine energy, which uh, move between the pain signals and the false pleasures. The human life started to be a life based on having less pain and more pleasure. This was the base mechanism which uh, occurred also today at the most of the people and, uh, which, and which is at the base of your action of your thoughts, of your choices. Less pain and more pleasure. Okay, let's take a good deep breath with that and feel into, your, into yourself. In this uh, era, the mind is connected at this uh, uh, mechanism. This is the basement of uh, the old, the rest parts of the life. Now, I shall continue with uh, speaking about the zero point. I'm not here alone. I'm here with a lot of other Shaumbra from my part. And also these energies are connected which all of you uh, which send out a signal in order to receive the FM soul radio in physical form. For our project it is a big advantage to have an antenna on us. An antenna which is formed by enlightened beings which benched which are in the benching process which share their light with the entire planet imagine this like a column of light like a column of light which started from the crimson council which uh, pass through, through all dimensions, including me, including other Shaumbras from here, including the astral reliefs, and then, which is grounded on Earth, and below the Earth, to the crystal caves. This huge column of light have a big role in making light, bring a lot of cleansing of 
the gray energies of the mass consciousness bring a, bring a lot of cleansing of uh, conflictual energies of anxiety, of fears of hate, of so many things which not serve the consciousness right now. For sure there is not an agenda, but with a grounded owners now this column of light have an emission in all the dimensions. In the astral dimensions there are also light beings which uh, receive this signal and on earth as well uh, like uh, an effect of this antenna of this huge antenna the uh, crystal childs which the crystal children which are on earth right now started to awake many of them until now they were in a somehow autistic uh, way of life being stranger strangers real strangers from their families from their parents from the outside life. Now, beginning with these signals from here, from this grounded antenna, they awake. And they will start it to pay attention to the outside life. What is interesting about these children Many of them are for the first time owners. They never uh, wear a headband. They never have had these effects in their energy. And now they feel that it is time. It is their time on earth to be open. In the same time, what we can say about the zero point? The zero point is disturbed by a lot of magnetics of the mind and by the gravity. The gravity is a force, it's like a glue which keeps the universe together, but also keep the walls the energy walls, the effects of the headband together. Maybe in the future, at some level, will be every house will have a room which will be possible to be zero, zero gravity. It is very important. In our times, like a scene, maybe many of you will remember. We had our homes, our places near the Dead Sea. Dead Sea uh, had and has today also a big salinity, very big salinity in the water. And in that time, like the scenes, we use that salinity for floating, for obtain an anti-gravity effect. This helps a lot in order to receive the balance of the consciousness, the zero, our zero point. To the zero point there is no gravity. No gravity. There is not a correspondent in the human life for the zero point because always in the human life there is the gravity. 
Now, another uh, concept, another thing that I want to open in this channel. There is in the scientist world the concept of Big Bang. Big Bang. Which uh, describe the uh, beginning of the universe as we know it like a huge explosion of energy and the scientist uh, described this uh, uh, explosion being far away in time and for sure far away in space now I can tell you there was many points where this big bang occurred but one of them was the solar system the solar system and the earth the solar system and this planet as the rare old like the universe Indeed, they are old like the universe. There are some of the oldest point, points of the physical universe. Here started to rise the consciousness. Imagine yourself before all of this, before the physical universe. The physical universe indeed has had many phases of creation when the matter was not so dense became dense as you know today after eons of times but the time the world time have no uh, revelation here and also there is a universe and a, a no universe first was created the no universe and then uh, occurred rising up in matter so take a good deep breath with this the solar system is one of the oldest points of the universe indeed IMFM I shall uh, let you oppose breathing with yourself and uh, make a short walk if you can in order to uh, embodied these energies you are masters you are comrades we are all of us free and sovereign beings okay let's uh, take a little pause and with and we shall continue with uh, a second session thank you uh, and uh, I'm glad, I'm very glad for this beginning. Blessings.